Hi guys, uh, well this is what I'm doing today. Uh, I've meant to attack this for quite some time now. <laughs> it's become a bit of a dumping ground. No, has yes, it? Yes, it has, yeah. <laughs> this is what used to be the old outside toilet. Yeah. When we moved in two years ago, we smashed up the toilet. And it still had a toilet in it, didn't it? <laughs> it, didn't a toilet. No, it didn't have a working flush, but there was a toilet. It's still got a, it's still got a light. <laughs> um, we've got some pipes at the back, which I'll have to be careful of. They come from the new boiler we had installed a year ago. Yeah. Um, the Caligas isn't hooked up. All of this rubbish can go. Um, and my next task then is, I've got some two before here, to reframe the door. And there's a door in the garage which I'm going to hang here, just so that this is not insecure and we can put some gardening stuff in there, perhaps. Or even make it an outside pantry, who knows? I don't <gasps> know. But... Uh, well, hold on. Let's make it a useful space. Hold on, because you were going to put your garden tools in there to free up space in your garage, but are you saying that you would consider giving it to me as a pantry? I don't know. <gasps> it's going to work as a pantry. Oh, that's true. But at the moment, all it's going to become is a secure outdoor room. Uh. And we'll find out later. Because there's electrical issues with this. There's um, some brickwork issues on the outside. Uh, threshold stuff needs to be done. Just to make it... Does it? Yeah, unfortunately it does, yeah. Because if I just put these two before's down to the ground, they'll do what these ones did. And just rot away. Um, and this, this, is, this isn't even the worst part of it. There was another six inches on the bottom of this that was just kind of rotted completely because it had been touching the ground and that then sucks the water up and uh, rots it from the ground up. Uh, so I'm going to try and put something like these bits of slab on the base here at an angle so the water runs away. You've thought this through, haven't you? I try, but I've not got an angle grinder now. So I'm just... Well, please excuse the aeroplanes flying overhead. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. There they are. Military planes from the base. Does it actually work? It works, but the socket inside, the switch doesn't work. So when you plug that in, it comes on straight away. Oh, it's supposed to be motion sensor, isn't it? It's supposed to be motion sensor. There's no PIR on this. Uh, I need to get one with a PIR. So there's a switch on this socket in here, which is on this cable, and that switch doesn't work. That just smacks of all the cabling in this house. Super yeah. dodgy cabling. So watch this space, and this will be created if something, uh, something You else. think it'll be finished by the end of the day? Yeah, probably. Woo! Yeah. Well, at least it'll be better by then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See you guys later. See you later. Well, I came out here for a sit rep, and look what I found. What are you doing, sir? Uh, I am just clearing the roof for all the... No one's going to hear a word you say. You're clearing the roof of... Of all the rubbish. Of all the rubbish. Yeah, a lot of moss growing on here. But oh, the moss. The roof is good quality, so... Oh, at least... The, it's probably the only decent thing in this house. The roof is good quality. I think it's been replaced quite recently. Maybe even when the garage roof was done. Oh, recently replaced. But, Fair uh, enough. As it's... I just realised the ceiling in here is not actually flat. Yeah, well, it's the same... It does come in at an angle, like or it will slope because the uh, roof above slopes. I was going to say it does the roof above slope. So. Yeah. So you've cleared out in here. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And you've dumped it all over there. <laughs> well, at the moment, yeah. There's a pile of of wood over there with uh, this year's uh, kindling stuff. Kindling. Mhm. Mm hey, Charlie. You right, my boy? You're getting covered in dust, buddy. The paint in here is a little bit suspect. Why is the paint suspect? It's all bubbling. It's bubbling? It gets damp. All oh, right. had a door for so long. Yeah, because of the damp. Yeah, so it's okay. It's an aeration brick in the back. It should stop condensation or it should relieve, at least give an airflow. Um, not that it's needed one for ages. <laughs> and uh, I've got somehow, I didn't realise there was still part of the soil pipe left in the back there. Yeah, evidence that there was a toilet. Yeah. 
I don't think anyone's going to want to stick their nose in there. So, <laughs> my next job is to get rid of this, which isn't connected to anything. Oh, because uh, the, no the old cooker that was in this house before we moved in was connected to Calagas. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. There was a big 13 kilogram one. There was a massive one, wasn't there? Yeah. And we were like, there is no way I'm having bottled gas just outside my, win my, my kitchen window, if you like. That thing will blow up. So we used it for what? Six Four, months. months. And then... And then we finally got an electric cooker in. Yeah. Because there is no... There's no gas where we live. We should make that clear. There's no underground gas pipes. So everything is off of oil and electricity here. So we have an electric cooker oven and our heating is done by oil. Yeah. But some people do love their gas cookers, hence some people know. some people are willing to risk putting gas cans right outside their building. Yeah. I'm not prepared to take that risk with three children in the house. She says, and then we put the barbecue right there. <laughs> Just thought of that. But the barbecue's not actually going to live there, is it? That's a limited risk, that. I think that's... That good. can's almost empty anyway. So there we go. That ain't going to come out. No. I'll have to cut that off. So what's your next plan? What's your next little update well, for this? I've uh, been somewhat distracted by other bits. I had a quick look at how the paint would come off the wall. Uh, but the next plan of attack is, um, I probably will start the door frame, get a door frame on and hang the door because that is what I originally started wanting to do. And then go back inside and see what I can clean up. It's interesting, the outside of the door, of the window frame is rotted badly. Mm. Inside is fine. This whole framework here, is all metal. This part, this wooden interior is, is fine, it's been kept dry, reasonably dry. The outside is bad. Uh, this this isn't too bad. It's just Top a sill. On the side, it's just a sill. And I'm but thinking, obviously, you've got to get it out and replace it. So. Yeah, Oops. If I can get it out, then I might replace it with a piece of this. And just plane down the edge so that it's at an angle because that's treated timber and we can we can paint it white to match and it should last a good five ten years if we keep coasting it coating it so cool we'll see that's sounds a good a lot to do sounds good i'm gonna go say hi to the chickens really quickly and then make some lunch for the kids see you later see you later that's charlie's favorite spot there all these pebbles there was what do you call it? A membrane underneath all there, and he just keeps tearing that stuff up. Let's go say hi to Chooks. I can hear them clicking away. Cluck, 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 cluck. So we definitely know it's Esther. We think it's yeah. Well, we don't know. It would, um, we watched some more videos on YouTube about their health. And actually, it turns out they do actually have two different types of poo. The fermented kind, which is quite yellowy, and it's normal. And then your regular poo, which is sort of the black and white stuff. Otto, get your nose out of the fence. Okay, yeah. Oh, what have you finished? Let's have a look-see. Your dream does not have an expiration date. Oh, yes. That is totally inspirational. I hope that's going on your wardrobe. Yes. Yes. Dreams do not have an expiration date. No. We'll have a little mini yeah, homestead in this house soon. Well, no, because then your dream could be to go back to heaven and see God. So then you don't have an expiration date still. Awesome. I'm not sure why they're all huddled up in here today. That's not normal. Are you laying eggs yet? Girly girls? My girly girly girls? Give me some eggs. All right. Hey Magma, you're so beautiful. I've no idea if the video catches the iridescent nature of her feathers. Can you see the blues coming I off of her feathers? No, don't pick her up. She's fine. She's having a stretch. 
She's beautiful. I wish we'd got more of her. I think she was the only black one left. Mm. All right. We will be back for another update on Andy's build progress. Phew. Phew. It's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything's going to be covered in sawdust. It's not sawdust though, is it? What do we call it? It's man glitter. Ah, uh, man glitter, yeah. Oh my gosh. Keys, phone, coffee. Good. <laughs> this isn't any good for the chickens. Yeah, why not? It's just sawdust. Yeah. Oops, I was just like videoing your crotch just then. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I've got to go down to that line. <sighs> okay, so, got... so 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 tell us what you've been up to because it's been a while since we did a catch up with you. So okay. the door frame is now in. The door frame's in. So is Charlie. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> He's like, what's this? Um, and... Oh my gosh! So you've really changed this since I last saw it. So this, so the door isn't tall enough. No, no door would have been tall enough for this space. So this door is not tall enough for that space. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm lifting the, the door off the floor with these tiles. Yeah. And then little spaces to give us the gap. And it's still, it's short. So I put this piece in. And then I put a little tiny sliver of wood in there. Yeah. I need to fill all the whole lot or... Did you get over the fact that the building wasn't straight so therefore uh, your door yeah. was uneven and all Can't that? Can't do anything about it, yeah. Um, it's as straight as it's going to get. It's not level but it will be close. Yeah. Um, that about sums up this house really. Yeah. Nothing's straight in this house. Yeah, exactly. Um, and now I've measured on one side of the door. So I'm taking off one side, this side, 20 millimetres on this side. Right, so this is what you've marked up here. So you're now planing to get rid of 20 millimetres of... Yeah, I've already done probably like 15 mil. So that's like 5 mil there. Is there not a quicker way to do it other than planing? Mm, or rather you just don't have the tools to do that? No, I could use a jigsaw, but it's a small jigsaw. It's not really man enough for it. So it's quite a thick door. Have you got a baby jigsaw? Yeah. I can't, it's not I even out. I could do it by hand, but... That would risk me going a bit off. Oh yeah, that wouldn't please you. So I've got to do that to the other side as well when I've finished. Which is not... So, so you know someone's going to ask, why didn't you just buy a narrower door? I couldn't find one. That's the narrowest one. That's a narrow fire door. That's the narrowest one I could find. Okay. So, I'm just like playing devil's advocate here, you know, so throwing the that questions. This space is so tall and thin. It must have had a door on it at some point. Well, at some point, yeah. But, um, I didn't know we got here, so... No. So, I'm going to get a lot more sawdust. Cool. That's no bad thing. Yeah, that's all good. It's all itchy. Ugh, horrible. <laughs> You've been working hard. You literally haven't stopped. You haven't even had lunch. I don't think I have had lunch. You haven't, trust me. I gave you a cup of tea and that was about it. Because <laughs> oh, right, okay. I'm such a bad wife. No. So, I, want, I just want to carry on because I'm way behind where I thought I'd be. Yeah. And if I can get the door on today, there's loads of loads of stuff to do. I've got a a lock to cut into it. Yeah, we don't have to do that today. No, no, true. There's not much point in hanging it. You're a glutton for punishment. That's what you are. Well, anyway, if it's a two-day job, it's a two-day job. So. Um. Had a moment of madness. And cleared away that corner. <sighs> now I just need to pull out all the sticks that I've cut. But it's going to be a never ending battle because it actually comes from the other side of the fence. Which means I'm never really going to be able to get rid of it. But it's fine. I'll pull it all out. Tomorrow I'll dig out whatever roots I can find. And we'll just see what we can do. Let's go back and see what Andy's up to. Hey, have you planed enough off yet? Not yet. Not yet? Oh dear. The girls are going nuts. Internet's completely out now, is it? Oh well. Cool, well, we're getting there slowly but surely. 
Okay. Dinner has been served and tidied up. So I'm just going to check on the main man in there somewhere. See what he's been up to. View hello. There you are. Just uh, gathering up some screws. Well, the door does swing shut. Boo! <laughs> Sorry, am I being a bit childish? You got plenty of sawdust to the chooks, and a whole lot of mess. Yeah, so I'm going to start this way and just work my way out. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> getting dusty. Hi. Oh. Wow. Well, you got the door on. I got the door on eventually, yes. And it doesn't look too bad. I've not made any major mistakes, so... Looks a little bit tight on the bottom, bottom right hand side. So if it expands, it might start chafing. Maybe just about here, but this is really tight. This side, the hinge side. Well, that's the beauty of it being wood. You can just plane a bit off. Yeah, it's because I've set the whole hinge into this. All oh, right. So the, this side of the hinge was flush with this piece of wood. Yep. Because I didn't want to have to plane too much more off this side. Yep. And that's ended up being quite nice and neat. But I need to chuck a few more screws in this into the wall because it's, you can see it, it's, it's wobbling at the bottom. It's a bit wobbly. But once this has got a stop on the back of it. Yeah, exactly. A bit of wood up here. Yeah, yeah. It won't be able to go too far. So, so you reckon it needs, you'll... It needs to be lifted a bit as well. It's just an outside shed, Andrew. I know, but Mr. The Perfectionist. Spot you can get in it, the better. Well, I won't be going in there. Yeah, you might. I will not. The gardening tools? I expect you to. Nope. I, Andy tried to get me in there earlier just to help him with a bit of measuring, and he shut the door on me. I was like, I'm freaking out in here! Let me out! This just shows you how grown up my wife is. I'm very grown up. I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit damp in the air. Like, I feel like it's going to rain. Well, there's no cloud, really. I no think it's just because it's cooling down. Maybe. My, I need to get my washing in. We're so high-tech in this house that we have washing hanging up. I think I'll finish the video saying goodnight to my chickens. If you saw on our earlier video, we got our very first egg today. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. I think it was magma that laid, but we can't be 100% certain. But there we go. It's been a good day all round, really. Um, tomorrow I'll finish off that bit of corner over there. Andy will finish off his door. I'll watch loads more YouTube videos on canning and prepping and wish I could afford to buy all the equipment I need. But I'm quite excited because I just found out that Costco allow you to have online membership without any special requirements. So I really miss Costco. Um, when I was a police officer, I was a Costco member because obviously that qualified me to do that. And I miss going to Costco. I've actually got no idea where the closest Costco would be to here anyway. So online is probably just as good. So we shall say goodbye. Where are you? There you Bye. are. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. He's a busy man. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. If you like our videos, please like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.